And it goes a little yeah. something like What's up best friends, it's your girl Danielle and I'm here to guide you through this video of the day in life in Paris This is our last full day in Paris and I'm just here to guide you through the video So let's get started So we started the morning by heading out to the Louvre Museum I just wanted to see the Mona Lisa, I'm her biggest fan We got a map and set to explore the museum. I think it's cool visiting museums from outside of Toronto because they showcase art and artifacts that you won't be able to see in Toronto. You can only see in this one specific museum. So it's nice like visiting stuff like this. Here's the Mona Lisa, as you can see, I'm her biggest fan. No one was gonna weigh in this line, so we just like snuck to the side here. Uh, we were recognizing a lot of paintings from Animal Crossing, so we decided to, you know, collect them for our museums. We had this little YSL room of like, oh, I guess like his old... Old that. pieces from like past collections. Yeah, it's very good. Okay, so after the Louvre, we decided to have some lunch. So we headed over to this cafe called Boy. You know what? I'm not even gonna pronounce it. Let's just be real here. We got some sandwiches and some lunch. And we headed over to a garden nearby and sat down and had lunch. How does it feel to be exposed? Good. Thank you, C0841. Thanks, F0463. After lunch, we walked over to Arc de Triomphe, which is, oh, I can't even lie, a bit of a walk, but it was worth. Oh, do you look 
Yeah. Right after we took the transit to Notre Dame, you can still see where it was burnt. We headed over to Subway just to, you know, have a little quick washing break. And then we headed over to St. Chappelle. Yes, I spelled it right this time. Shout out to myself for improving. And then we went over to the Pantheon. We wanted to have some crepes, so we headed over to Cafe Resto where we got an apple cinnamon crepe and a Nutella banana crepe. We did some souvenir shopping right after and then headed over to a park just to sit down and chill for a bit. For dinner, we decided to have Croc Monsieur, and since it was Eurovision semi-final two, we headed home a little bit earlier just to eat and watch the semi-final. Your mom knows she's there, right? Yeah. Like I said in the previous vlog, this whole Eurovision week, I was cheering for my top 10. So in this particular semi-final, I was cheering for Belgium, and yes, he deserved to be in the final. You guys really were angry for what? Um, Cyprus, but she didn't make it, and I see why she didn't make it. It was a struggle. Alona was cheering for San Marino. It was a moment and we I can see why he was disrespected here. Portugal, we love to see it. Nothing more that I can say says it in a better way. Australia, we knew he was gonna make it. He's a king. <gasps> North Macedonia came in 11th, so I can't even be mad about that. That's basically who I was cheering for in this semi-final. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, guys, so much better than yesterday already. Right. No, literally. Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. There's currently two videos on the screen right now. My last video and a random video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and it's free. And I'll see you guys as soon as...